Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Brewmaster, the beer brewing simulator. Here we are for another episode. Um, current story objectives use Cornelius Keg to brew a beer with combination over three volumes. 3%, I guess. Using a heat mat, brew a beer with a yeast that requires a temperature of at least 21 degrees. So, um, combination is at least between four and five. So, IBU is at least 80. IBU is, um, International bitterness. Um, I've got a recipe up already. Belgian IPA, but I can't remember what. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Over 92. Um, carbonation is between four and four and a half. Okay, so I've got things set up over here. Um, carbonation set this. I want it to go between four and four and a half. So 4.25. Obviously, that won't work until we've got something in there. The temperature, um, 23 degrees. I don't know if that'll actually work till we've got something in there or not. Um, brew kettle. Don't have the mash ton out. Oh, there it is. The mash ton's there. All right. I just want you guys to know I'm a truck driver. I'm not a fucking scientist. So, <laughs> I don't know how we'll go with this, but we'll see what happens. Um, let's grab some hoses out. I need to... Does it want... Doesn't need, doesn't say if it needs to be yeah, large or small. That's okay. Alright, so let's go from the tap to um, here to there. Open that. Um, turn that on. Get 21 litres in there. We can turn that on as well. Right, so we need Belgian Pilsner 3.5. Let's go 2, 3.5. Let's actually put these away. Um, British Mild Ale 3 kilos. So one, and then two, and Dark Munich, which is going to be hard to get, 400 grams. Alright, so that's going to go straight into here. The Belgian pills now, we need three and a half kilos, so that's two kilos. This will be three. that away and then that'll be a half so three and a half of that three kilos of British mild oil. I want to try and get it as accurate as possible right done go in there another two kilos it was three to 400 grams which is going to be hard to get spot on but Close, oop, close enough will be good enough. How uh, much water? Not quite there yet. Okay, so 400 grams. Each thing gives us about 30 grams. 405, that's pretty bloody good. Right, put the lid on that thing. Um, still filling up. I want to heat it to 84 degrees, so 21 litres of water. Actually, oop, really slow. 20.94. Still, ah, oh, that'll do. Let's put it on a little bit further. Right, there we go, turn that off. Detach that. Um, you want to get it to 84 degrees. Lids back on that, yep, good. So we want to go from there, 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 to there. Open both of those, but that won't come out yet until we turn the propeller on. So 84 degrees. Done. We want to put 10 litres in there. 
that goes so quick, doesn't it? Five, six. One point eight four. One point oh nine. Sixty six degrees. Want to hold that for an hour? I wonder if we can put. Um, Oh, can we pick that up? Can we put that? Aha! Can we set that to... 65 degrees? No, you can't. Only 30. Damn. That was an idea I had, which obviously isn't going to work. Um, that's going to go from there back to there. So it's going to lose 5 degrees an hour, is that what it's telling me? Alright, so 65 degrees, 10.15. Want to go through to 11.15. That's 10 minutes, so 15 minutes. Alright, I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Um, and we want to go through to 11.15. not turned on, is it? I mean, why has it still got liquid going into it? Must slowly still be running. Right, that should be alright. It's going to drop a little bit, but that's not too bad. Alright, so now we need to... Um, 11 litres before mash out. We need to transfer the wort back to the brew container. Heat it up to 100 degrees. Done. All right, turn that back backwards the other way. There you go. That'll get put back in there. That'll get heated up straight away. Ops. Palanka, 50 grams. Let's get these um, while we can. Um, Sandborn 60 and Wairika 40. Sandborn 60. Wairika go 40. Done. Oh, we need to take the lid off that. Completely forgot about that. Alright, so you can turn that off now. Um, Take that out, take that out for now. Pick that up and clean that. That can go there. Um, what yeast are we using? Fine wise and ale. Get that ready. Have we got it? Yeah, we do. Um, 24 degrees, it says. So this will set to it says at least 21, yeah, so we'll set it to 23, that's good. Alright, get it back to 100 degrees. Done, throw that on there. 50 minutes, so 12, 16. Right, we'll throw the other two on. Look at that. Another 10 minutes. 12.26. Done. Let's pull all those off. Turn that off. They can all go the bin. Need to go from here. Actually, no, we need to cool the wart. Um, go there, is it? It's a medium brew. Need to get this guy straight on there. Base item. Intake there. Outtake there. Turn that straight on. Pull that straight to 20 degrees. Go 
about 23 degrees will do because we we're going to have to um, move that we're going to have to transfer it to there fermentation container which is this one open new open new um, turn that on ah, pump it that way or is it still going backwards I think it's still going backwards. Alright, turn it off, turn it the other way. There we go, now it's coming out of there. We're going into here. Setting at 23 degrees, which is good. We need to put the yeast in, but we'll wait for that to get fully transferred first. Hopefully, um, this will work. So carbonation is set to 4.25. I'll right, take that off. Let's pick oh, that up. Place that on there. Right, we want to detach the tube as well. Because eventually it'll go from here. How do we get it into there? Set pressure. We have to turn this off. Done. How do we ah, remove lid? So we can't actually. That doesn't attach anywhere, I don't think. Right, so that's in there. We haven't added the yeast yet. Let's do that now. 15 days. Does that class as a conditioning container too, though? I don't know if it is. Um, that in there. Alias keg. Have a look in here. Yeah, okay. Conditioning container, okay, good. Alright, so, 15 days and we need some corn. Or sugar, I should say, not just corn. Right, grab sugar. 140 grams. Do a little bit too much. Right, put the lid back on. Still sitting at 22 degrees. Alright, so we need to go from here to here. There. There. Now we need to open you up and we need to turn on. Should all come out of there into here. Need to set it for 4.25. Hopefully that works. Right, checking the job. IBU carbonation. Yeah, we should be good. Um, undissolved. Right, that can go. Get that out, put that lid back on, take that out, let's pick this up and clean it. Let's tick it back down on there. Oh, we need to set it at 4.25. That should slowly increase, so condition for 21 days, and then taste the package. This is going to be called the Sock Knocker. Ooh, current carbonation is way too high. That's interesting. Wonder why that is. Alright. Pick up. Can we taste and package it in this? I don't think we can, can we? We can, there we go. It's going to be too carbonaceous though. Probably should have looked at that a bit more. Yeah, 5.7, very high. 
Um, extremely hazy. Could be bitter enough though. Where's the IBU? Two point eight. Um, eight point eight six percent bitterness. Yeah, that's high. That's good. Contamination is low. Belgian IPA is what we went for. Seventy five percent. Um, okay, we'll call it Sock Knocker. Sock Knocker. Same bottle, same glass. That's fine. Um, guess we'll do that. Can we go Text Banner? It's even changing anything. Why is it not changing anything? That's weird. Yep, it's not changing a thing. Illustration, illustration border. It's hard to. Ooh. Tool. I don't know why we can't adjust that the sock knocker bit down a bit, make it a bit bigger. That's all good. We'll go ear style. Belgian up up this way. Belgian IPA sock knocker. Um, BV text. Make that bigger, but we'll move it over. 8.9%. Move the volume text as well. Smaller. Don't need it to be too big. Right, illustration. Sock knocker is pretty potent. Um, you know, this guy maybe. Color, can we go like a greeny color? Color B? I don't know what that's even changing. That the shadow. Nope, makes no difference at all. Right, we'll move that down. That a little bit smaller. There you go. That'll do. Screenshot of that. We'll submit the beer. That was sock knocker. Yeah, see four and four and a half. Submit it anyway, we didn't get the extra credits, but we did get a mini growler. From packaging option. Interesting. I wonder... That was a ruffled one, so we'll stick it over here. Um, it's in here, oh, that carbonation tank thingy, my bob. That didn't actually turn up. Jobs. Oh no, that's yeah, never mind. Okay. Jobs. Track job. Belgian. Beer style is Belgian style wit wit beer. Belgian style wit beer. Um recipe. Jobs. ABV is at least seven. ABV is at least nine. Okay. How do we get the ABV higher? So more yeast and more sugar, I guess. Would be the way to go. We don't need the carbonation keg this time. Um, we can just use 
I'm going to use a medium sized barrel. Right, so let's get um, that turned around. Let's get some water straight on. I don't know if that makes it any quicker. I'm going to just put... Yeah, way more in than we need to. I'll put about 30 litres in there or something. It's not going to hurt. Just that, that way we've got enough for the mash out at the end. Let's go a bit quicker. I'll turn that off. We can take these hoses off now. Right, done. That's good to go. Let's put the lid on it while we're waiting. Actually, and we can... No, we can take the lid off. Um, American Pale Ale 1.6. I'm not going to worry too much about this. White malted wheat. I don't know if I've got all these ingredients actually. No, we don't have those. Oh, let's go and get those. So, white malted wheat, one kilo. Uh, flaked wheat, 800, and malted wheat. Flaked wheat, so we got American Pale Ale, white malted wheat, flaked wheat, and malted wheat. Right, let's pull those away. Start back at the start. I'm gonna go 1.6, the American Pale Ale. Uh, one kilo white malted wheat, so that's gonna be easy. That mixed right. Flake tweet is 800. And then our malted wheat is only 600. It's back on. Right, that needs to go up to 76 degrees. Let's go to about 80, I guess. Alright, now let's go from here to there, to there, there, open that. Open that. Um, and we need what? 10 litres. Five degrees for an hour. Two point nine. Alright, so 65 degrees for an hour. So it's going to be 3 o'clock. Three thirty, so let's do it again until it's about sixty-eight degrees. There we go. That should stay. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now we need to put eleven liters in. So twenty-three liters in total. Twenty-three liters. Three, yep. All right, we need to disconnect that. This one, we'll grab that and clean it. That kettle can stay there for now. We can go from here in there, there, open both of those, transfer that over, heat to 100 degrees. Calapian hops. Okay. That's only 10 grams. Vanilla, habanero, and coriander. Uh, where is it? Vanilla, habanero, coriander. Done. They can all go there, so that'll get transferred across. Right. Shut that. Add. They need to get to 100 degrees first. 
Add the hops and boil for 50 minutes. And Sirena, we need 40 grams as well. Done. Right, so we need to do that for 50 minutes, so till 4 o'clock. Done. Alright, so we need to go vanilla. What do we have here? Vanilla. So it's just 15 clicks for that. Habanero pepper. 10. How good would it be? You have like a massive spicy beer. Um, that's done. Add hops. Sirena. 40 grams. And oil for another 10 minutes. So 410. Done. Take those hops out. Um, cool wart, so we need to turn you off. Stick you up. Stick you there. Throw that into there. In and out. Turn it on. Okay, so North American wheat. I'm going to double this up. Is it? Get two of those. How much sugar do we need? 170 grams. So we're going to need like 340. All right, let's cool this down. Actually, let's look at this first. Uh, 23 degrees. Okay. Let's drop this down to 21 and a half. All right, cool this down. About 23 degrees. Done, that'll do. Go for that. Go back into there. Right, we'll stick that there. We'll go from here. There, there, there. Open both of those. Turn that on. Add the yeast now. Okay, so we're going to add, we're going to add both. Just try and bump, bump up the ABV. Which obviously, once we transfer this, we can actually save it, and um, if it doesn't go up high enough, then we can uh, adjust it as we need to. Take both those out, grab that, clean it, put it back. Uh, we can go save. It's always the best thing to do, I suppose. Um, just to make sure, like if we do make a mistake, it's too low ABV, too high ABV, whatever it may be, we can reload it and do it again. Instead of having to obviously do the whole recipe all over again. So double fermentation and double, it's about 350 grams of um, sugar. Hopefully, don't need to worry about um, carbonation in this one. Three fifty grams, a little bit more than what we wanted, but that's okay. In, out. It's at twenty-one degrees. We just added sugar, though, so that might be. Another reason why. Surprised we don't add the sugar to this. You wouldn't think it would have enough time to dissolve. You can see it's still undissolved now. I would say, you know, add sugar, leave, leave for an hour, and then whatever. So we can pick that up and we can clean that. See, it's not dissolving now anyway because it's all in here, but that should dissolve. All right, let's go 21 days. We need a high ABV out of this, so fingers crossed. Is it 
nine we needed ABV. Right, test it. See how we go. Looks good. Very pale. Point seven. Three point seven. Why is it hazy though? Multi and sweet. Crisp and clean, sour and tart. Need one point nine off, which is good. A bit smoky, a bit hoppy and bittery. We'll see only five point seven percent. That's what I was spice beer. Now we just want um Belgian style wit beer. Just gonna go submit beer because that doesn't matter. We needed it to be at least seven. We need to work out what's happened there. So you gotta load game. Load that one again. Um Do we need to give it time for it to to dissolve? That's what I'm thinking, like it We've doubled the yeast. Why don't we add the yeast and sugar at the same time? That's why I don't get, like we should be, from what I watch, like I've never done this before, but from like Moonshiners, they always add the yeast and the sugar at the same time. Um, we go 350, I'm gonna add it now and see what happens. And ferment for 15 days and Maybe add more sugar. See, one point two seven undissolved, undissolved, which weird. Transfer that over, and then we'll condition it twenty one days and see what happens. Maybe that'll work. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Shut you, shut you. Dun, dun, dun. Right, and then go 21 days, and then we'll test it again and see what happens. Right. Right, skip that. That five point nine four made no difference really, unless we need to add like even more yeast. Well, let's go back again. Let's add two more of these like North American wheat. Let's just add four. See what happens, and then like a kilo of sugar. I don't know if it makes a difference doing it here or not. We can test that too. But with the sugar. I'll throw that in. I'll try this in. Then we'll throw in two full bags of sugar. And I'll save the game as well. That's a different save, obviously. Um... Stop pouring, throw that in there, that in there. I'm gonna go with another bag of sugar. This could be a full kilo of sugar. It should get that ABV up way higher. Possibly. Don't know. So ferment for 21 days. That's no, 15 days. Oop, I forgot to save it. Oh well. Um, got two kilos of sugar now. Or two kilos of undissolved, I should say.
off. Hurry up. Right. Take that off. Take that off. We'll condition for 21 days. I don't know if the barrels have anything to do with it either. Um, they adjust ABV or not. Right, hazy 7.2, so that definitely went up, but still not high enough. What are we aiming for? Like 9. Oh, yeah, 9. So that's better. Let's try one more time. And we'll add what more. These tubes away, that can go away. Um, I'm going to do it different again. Let's add six of these things. Then we'll add three bags of sugar, but we'll add it at the end. If this doesn't work, then this seems like an awful lot. The yeast, the temperature needs to be right. The yeast to work. Only 21 degrees, I think it's 23 is what we're sort of aiming for. What have we got to set at? 21 and a half, let's go 22 and a half. Um, throw that away to here. Then one more. And then we'll Organise our sugar, three bags of sugar and two more hoses. Done. Go sugars. Changes the colour that does, we don't want to change the colour. Alright, ferment for 15 days. If we ferment longer they improve the ABV as well. That's what I need to look at. Um, let's go Rupedia fermentation. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Water's reached. Pitching yeast. Work at this point. The yeast is converting sugars into wort. Doesn't really say. I don't think, unless I read it fully. Yeah, alright, never mind. We'll just do it. Did we just skip 15 days? I don't know if I just skipped 15 days or not. Can't remember now. I don't know. I think we did. I think we did. Oh, bummer. Alright, so it's going to ferment for a lot longer. Alright. Add the full three bags and see how we go. If this doesn't work, then as long as we get above seven, I'll still, still sort it out. Still send it through for that job. Um, that's why it's a bit more challenging. It's not just an easy, straightforward job, this one. Right, lid back on, let's put these away. It's going to go from here to here, here, here. I'll get this done quick because the episode's gone really long already. Get all that out of there. Done. Condition for 21 days. I don't know if the conditioning has anything to do with the alcohol content either. Alright, now try this. Hopefully we didn't destroy it. Oh, 2.7. 7.5, yeah, I can't get any higher, which is weird. Um... 
Now that's changed what alcohol we're actually going for, doesn't it? I think. Needed to be Belgian style wit beer. That wasn't even on the list that time. Pick that back up. It's not even on the list. Belgian style whip is not even there. Alright, I might have to look at this one off camera because we're already up to 40 minutes. So I might have to reload that and do it again and see what happens. So I think we did more bags and it worked out okay. I'm just not sure. Um, using a heat map brew beer with the yeast requires a temperature of at least 21 degrees. Well, we've done that. Um, Alright. What I'll do is I'll try and get it done off camera. Um, just jam these on here out of the way. We'll go... Um, what we did before, we'll go double that, and then we'll go double sugar, and hopefully it still comes up as the German style wheat beer. Yeah, if you guys got any ideas on how to make it um, more ABV, let me know. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito, thanks for watching. See you guys again soon.